Well, good morning, ladies and gents. Today I'm in sunny Attleborough in Norfolk, outside this property called 35 Snowdrop Drive. It's an interesting property. It's one which is actually quite a bit bigger than it first appears, because it does go back a long way. It's very well presented as well. You've got plenty of parking. You've got all this area of the uh, Brickweave Drive, set behind the wall. And this is a nice quiet residential area. In addition, single garage is at the side. It's the one with the uh, white door, which is a overhead roller door. And then we've got access down the side here. Now I'm gonna take you around the outside first of all. Decent sized garden shed, very well tended, and actually very private garden as well. So I've got a summer house, is there and then all this area of lawn with the flower beds and you can see how it all fits together i'll just take you to this side as well there's a little bit more around the side it actually is quite a good storage area it's hidden away roses are just coming out into leaf And for those who don't know Attleborough, it's a very well served town. And what I consider very much an up and coming area as well. And actually because of the way the summer house is set, there is quite a bit of space behind it. Attleborough as a town has got a train station on the Norwich to Cambridge line. Uh, easy access onto the A11. And it's a good range of shops services, schooling, pretty much everything you need. So we're back around the front. What we'll do now is pop inside. Okay, so we're going in through the front door and you're in for quite a pleasant little trip around this property. What we'll do first of all, have a look at the living room and I'll just follow it all around. It's a lot of space here, it's superbly presented and it's got a really good flow as well. Then we've got the gas fire, lovely bright bungalow. You can move straight into this as well. Now on here you've got the Archway leads into the dining room. Plenty of room for a decent sized table. And then out the back, we've got a real sun trap of a conservatory. Very sensibly though, they've had an obscured ceiling put on so it doesn't get absolutely baking hot. Kitchen is very well appointed. It's got some lovely touches like the curved corners on the units. Plenty of space for you. And it's well designed as well. And you see double oven, the hob, the modern extractor. So you can see his dishwasher there as well. Then out the back, you've got space for more white goods. The similar cream coloured units. And door to the rear garden. Okay, going back down the hall. We'll start with bedroom three. It's like odd way of doing it, but it seems to make sense today. Plenty of space, and you've got a nice view into the rear garden on this one. Bedroom two. 
easily takes a double bed. And then we're back down to the front where we've got the main bedroom. Good size double wardrobe on that side. And then this also has the ensuite shower room. Shower enclosure there. Put up with me in the mirror, apologies. And you've got the loo and the basin. Then the last room. It used to be the bathroom, it's been refitted with a shower. Good contemporary style fittings in here as well. It's got a decent sized shower, plenty of space. And you both, you've got a hand attachment, I can show you around that side, hand attachment. And then you've also got that big fixed head rose as well. So that's all the property. Um, viewing details are coming up next and uh, we look forward to speaking to you shortly.